everyone. Breaking, breaking news. Breaking this just in. My makeup has been crazy for the last few videos. I was like, we do a breaking news. Breaking news. Actual breaking news. I know we say that too. I don't know when this video is coming <laughs> yeah, out. It won't be breaking news. But right. it won't be breaking news then. Today is Tuesday, July 21st. Yeah. And I think we're just hearing about it now today. Yeah. Um, But obviously whenever we put this video out, it won't be breaking news anymore. Yeah. But Go right into it, Sarah. So, I got my glasses Nerd on. Nerd alert. Hollywood stars and ex-United States Women National Team players unite to bring NWSL team to Los Angeles. Hoorah! So that is the news. Woo! Hollywood stars and more than a dozen former members of the U.S. Women's National Team have formed an ownership group to bring women's professional soccer to Los Angeles in 2022. Oh, damn. That's yeah. two years. The new team, wait. right, ha that which has been yet to be named, was announced Tuesday. Um, led by venture capitalist Alexis, Alexis, how would you say that? Alexis Ohan Ohan Ohanian. 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 Onion? I don't know. Everyone knows who he is. I mean, Serena Williams Bay, so we all know him. <laughs> uh, and Karen Nortman and entrepreneur Julie Ehrman. The ownership group is also includes. Okay, so this is what's important. The ownership group that this is bringing the team includes. So the ownership group also includes actresses Uzo Aduba, Whoa. Jessica Chastain, <gasps> America Ferreira, Whoa. Jennifer Garner, Ava Longoria, and Natalie Portman, as well as talk show host Lily Singh. <laughs> Random. <laughs> Random, but okay. Um, can I just say? Yeah. They watched our video and they heard me. <laughs> ah. They heard me yeah. when I said, ladies, yeah. get together and buy a team yes. or make a team. Yeah, what about Ava Longoria, Natalie Portman, Jessica Chastain, all those women who went to the soccer game? Yeah. They have money. Yeah. Okay. They're yeah. high paying actresses. Yeah. Why don't they do something? Why don't yeah. they put together a group? Why? Oh my God. Yo. Okay. So you know how these women start their own production companies? Mm. They need to band together mm. all of these ladies and start an investment group maybe oh, or something yeah. to, to invest money. in these, the women's sports. Yeah. You know, let's say they they all went to the soccer game, so mm -hmm. um, they could do it into women's soccer. Yeah, and then yeah. that's women supporting women yeah. in sports. Yeah. Good night. There you go. I like that. Wow. I love that. <laughs> Got a little worked up there. Team. I remember that. Oh my! What have they been? Thank you, Jessica Chastain. Thank you, Uzo. Thank you, for guys, for listening to me. Yeah, <laughs> because they did not. Well, you know, but, yeah. Um, yeah, actually, I never know. The internet is wild. It is, especially like because when so. Megan Rapinoe always talks about people with money need to invest. Women need to invest in, in women. Other sports. women, you know. And we made that it's comment sweet. that. We have grown up to like men's sports. That's just the way you grow up. That's what they teach you. You like men's sports. You don't like women's sports. And so we, right. a lot of people like the Yankees or the, um, what's the base football team or the Cowboys, you know, those are the teams you like even as a female, but no, it's, you have to invest in female sports. Um, yes. So among the former U.S. Women's National Team players who are part of the group as well are Julie Fowdy, Mia Hamm, Lauren Holiday, and Abby Wambach. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. So nice. my question is, and there's nice some other players as well, there. but those maybe the, the the more key players. But I wonder how does that work? Does everyone put an equal share into the team? I don't know anything business. Uh, I don't know though. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, bro. But um, that's this is exciting. exciting. Yeah, and I mean, I've heard of some people saying Los Angeles it, having a sports team in Los Angeles can be tricky. Why? Because there is so many so avenues for entertainment in Los Angeles. Are people going to choose an NWSL game? We know they're going to choose a U.S. Women's National Team tournament to go to because we've seen the crowds yeah. are huge. But will they support a NWSL team? Which we know sometimes mm -hmm. getting people to attend can be hard. You think about Portland has such great fans in Portland. But in Portland, there's not a lot of professional sports. You know what right. I mean? So some people, I've heard some people saying, don't go to LA because what if they're just not appreciated in LA? Because there's so much already going on there. True. But with the backing of those celebrities and the team, the, yeah. the players, I mean, I mean, they win. have a lot of fans, so maybe the fans yeah. will. And soccer you know, is so big in Southern in California. Um, there's a large Hispanic population in North Southern California, very large. And Shout out. Hispanic people, Sarah's 100% Mexican. It's true. What, what do Mexican people like? Um, football. Yeah, yeah. 
because when you go to Mexico, go yeah. lasso. Like your whole, <laughs> that was okay. So your whole family, like when you go to Mexico, everyone's string for soccer, right? Yes, I remember an embarrassing um, moment when I was in Mexico. We went to some soccer field or something yeah. with my cousins and my aunts and everything yeah. and I was trying to be cool you know a little kid trying to show off my soccer skills we were walking <laughs> back I was with the ball and I tripped and fell over the oh, ball oh no that was embarrassing and I was like oh my god I'm so I like a nerd scraped up my knee I was Aww. like yeah I'm never doing that again so yeah, yeah we um love soccer and your whole there. family like your brothers and your dad and mom even your mom likes soccer yeah so there is a huge soccer fan base in Southern California, which is amazing. You know what I mean? So, so they'll, hopefully they'll they'll be the ones attending the yeah. and selling hopefully. out those stadiums or Hopefully. Whatever. So they haven't they haven't talked about if they're gonna affili affiliation with an MLS partner, you know, like how they some of the teams, I don't know if all the teams have the, you know, like the Dash and the Dynamos are affiliated through Houston. Mm, um, uh -huh. So we'll see. Well, what's LA Galaxy? Yeah, the, the LA Galaxy is there, but I don't know if they're going to be, I don't know if they have to be affiliated or we'll be finding oh, that out. we can do it on their own just fine. They, right. Because <laughs> um, the NWSL, their actual newest team is actually in Louisville FC, which is going to be for 2021. 2021. Uh -huh. So we haven't talked at all about that, which we really should have. But, um, but what I think that it's going to be great that there's going to be 11 teams is that means even more people from college can get um, recruited. Yes. Even more international players who might want to come also, over here. Also, can they have a grandma team? We'd like to join that one. I agree, yeah, yeah, I can join any team. <laughs> and not only that, the only another problem is that it's gonna be another odd, odd amount number. of teams. Well, they just need to get another one. More one teams, so yeah. get them to 12. Yeah, so Louisville yeah, no. will be next year, Kentucky. Actually, my dad lives in um, Ohio, which is close to Kentucky. Oh my gosh, I literally don't even think of Kentucky ever. Really? I've not thought of Kentucky once. No, no, never. Like, like, ever. Sorry like, if you're in Kentucky, but it's a state I forget about. That's what, so we used to live in Nebraska. Sorry. People would say that's about Nebraska all the time. Nebraska and like, Nebraska Nebraska? Iowa, people don't even know think what about they it, are, yeah. so I'm there with you, Kentucky. And <laughs> even like New Hampshire, that, or Delaware. I wanted to move to Delaware, we're not moving to Delaware. No. I wanted to move back to Delaware, so Ben and Sarah goes, why? I go, because it's a state no one thinks about. And I kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, but then there's like nothing there if nobody thinks about That's it. That's true. Know? Um, Joe Biden's from Delaware. Um, so there's Aubrey Plaza. Is she? Aubrey Plaza? Aubrey. So is Morgie Hurd. Uh, <laughs> so is. I know, right? So we're excited. LA, I mean, definitely if we're in the area, we're definitely going to go to the game. Because so. we're always in LA. Yeah, never. Yeah. Never. Been there once. Uh, I'm from California, Hollywood. so I've been there a bunch. But. but this is the thing. The girls who are investing in this this club need to show up at the games. Like every game, one of the girls has to be there. Oh yeah, if they don't, I'm gonna slap them. Or like, you know what else? They need to get entertainers to go perform at these games. Like, And they need to put on their social medias. Yes. Hey, buy tickets are on sale, buy, they need to promote. And th not- Which I think they with will. With them promoting- they money. Oh, would he say that again? I said they need to promote, but I think they will because they don't want to lose out on yeah. money. And because they're investors. Well, and not just like that, like, you would think, well, whoever gets to play for this LA team, what, they're going to be friends with Jessica Chastain, blah, 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 that's not fair. They're gonna I be am friends. not Jessica Chastain, I am Bryce Dallas, Howard Kimmy Roar. <laughs> Please cut that. So when they Sorry. say that Jessica Chastain is going to be maybe promoting these teams, but Jessica Chastain is not going to be promoting the team necessarily, they're going to be promoting the league. When they say that their ownership of this team, they're going to be promoting the league with that. Not just yeah. come see the LA team, the only team that matters. No, they're going to say, come see all the teams, you know. And with You're saying that's what they're going to say? They're saying, yeah, they, they're going to be promoting the league. Oh, that's what they're saying. And that's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm, uh, I hope it's, I yeah. hope it's, yeah, maybe. Yeah. They need to get like I mean, entertainers. So. They need to get like Hillary Duff there or something to perform. I'm sorry, <laughs> Hillary Duff, just because Lizzie McGuire is making a comeback. Okay. Something. You go and say, they need to have Beyonce do the Star Spangled Banner. Something like that. That's you get interest. No, Monet. Why am I yes. so obsessed with Janelle? You love her. Yes. That's what they really <laughs> need. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to do crack part 23 in our last, last round of videos. We didn't do one crack. Oh my. Did you notice that? I did. I remember not cracking up to crack. <laughs> And, but oh, this is a special edition. It's only Kristen Press. Oh shoot! It's only Kristen Press. I, I think I know who their favorite player is. Look at they have the Sydney roll right there. Kristen Press. That's a freaking cute. 
Okay, you ready for this? I'm, I'm ready. Hello, wonderful I'm humans. Okay, this sometimes helps when I have seen, but it's matter. We can watch it. Okay, here we go. It's her world we're only living in it. Yeah. It's not Hello, wonderful <laughs> humans. A is for absolutely good for the sport. B is for badass. I'm doing my best. <laughs> C is for because I'm not funny. D <laughs> is for Deja what? Deja booty. E <laughs> is for every time. Like no. Like, F is for French fries. They're so good. And I'm always in the mood for them. I could eat them for three meals in the same day. Oh G yeah. is for yes. Good morning. It's yesterday. H is for heck no no, no. <laughs> this is the line i is for i am soccer <laughs> i am soccer i'm I a face of america we are stanford <laughs> j I love is for just shin guard it's just you're just your knees and then your arms and your face are just a totally different color than yep. your body uh, k is for i like this one. He plays with the game, he plays and he raises the stakes and it fails and he seems to thrive and so few survive and got them and I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. It's a whole vibe. I love that so much. L is for I know. Fantastic player and she's having a fantastic oh, tournament. With the wing. We know what that means. M is for the spot. Yup. <laughs> Let's do it. N is for nothing. Clearly, I thought the only thing I knew was about kiwi. <laughs> o is for oh my gosh, have you seen her shoes? They're the new Chicago Bulls fire J ones. From Travis Scott. Did you see? <laughs> How did she get those? They're not even released yet. P is for pelotas. Pelotas. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was potatoes. Q is for. Hey, Queen. R is for. S is for. Can I follow up, please, Kristen? T is for. Twenty-one hours of travel for this moment. U is for um I feel great. Thanks. V is for very very particular about our bus buddies. Uh. W is for <laughs> What a gust. What a X is for Y is for Your name is Kristen? No, what the hell? Z is for zero touches on the ball, no. zero completed passes, and zero goals. <laughs> I don't know, that's oh, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, she's always giving them away like candy. I know. What a legend. Aww. It's so sweet. I wonder if they ever get mad, they're like, okay, you can't keep giving them away. <laughs> you know? Uh, what, what, she just keeps buying them or something? Well, they probably, yeah, I don't know, maybe the more she gives them away. I love how it's a rule you can't be in your sports bra. Mm. Uh, aww. Aww, she's so sweet. Oh yeah, we should be over the end. Oh yeah, she loves those arms up. Yeah. Go on. Uh. <laughs> Woo! Love that. Oh, that's the best hug. Whoa, there's so much going on there. I know, I know. Bodies. Hey, hey. Oh. Pull it tight like this. Perfect. Thank you. Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Just finishing up packing my bag for practice, and I wanted to let you know a little secret. Oh, wow. Last month, I started straightening my teeth with Invisalign Clear oh. Wipes, and I couldn't be happier. They go everywhere with me and are so convenient. So swipe up to see how I know. I don't watch television. <laughs> 
But if I did, who has life support? But if I did. <laughs> Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Yeah, yeah. That's so funny. French fries. Yes. French fry heaven. Oh yeah, this is from like. Stanford. <laughs> oh, that is so freaking funny. Handle us. Oh, no. Get those. What is that? Get those knees. Nah. Yes. Nah. I got the horses in the back. Horse tack is attached. Hat is matte black. Got the boots that's black to match. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town. <laughs> I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I'm gonna take my yes. horse to the old town horse road. Life. I'm like gonna ride till I can't like no horse's more. What's his name? It's the name. Hello. <laughs> there she is. Who is it? <laughs> what a cute it's me, Mario. <laughs> you love that. It's really the voice. I have no idea. Oh, I don't know if it was that. Uh. <gasps> good. It's a little cheesy. Oh looks gosh. so good. I want that. Oh my god, it looks so good. Yeah, you rarely see her like mad. A couple times, but. Aww. She's very giving. Yeah. She loves soccer so much, too. You know what I mean? But she hated it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching. It was hard for me to make. I am perfectionist in this right now. Oh my goodness, it was amazing. Perfect. Yeah, it was so good. No, Patty Bad. That was amazing. That was good stuff, good stuff. I mean, those videos Patty Bad does, they literally take her probably Oh, they probably take her days, months, you know, weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean, she could be a good yeah, editor. That's a lot of work. Um this part it was so good. My um and you really showed Kristen as as we see her, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, because yeah. I always think about it. You know, we always have favorites on the team. You know, that's just natural. You always have a favorite in a band. You know what I'm saying? You always have a favorite mm -hmm. in a group. But it's just like the thing about Kristen is you might not she might not be your favorite, but you can't deny the vibes she gives off are so good vibes only. Good vibes, positive and vibes where you just you might that might not be your cup of tea, but how could you say she's not a a person that is trying her hardest to give off good vibes, you know? Yeah. Um, because we even saw like when people get angry like that's me like if i were a soccer player i'd probably get angry all the time on the field mm -hmm. and like want to shove people do punch them like alex morgan does <laughs> we watched that video um but no kristen's just like i'm not gonna you know that's the meditativeness in her yes sorry i am only thinking about food right now oh she thought french I fries hungry you and kristen should go on a french fry date i know i'm hungry and i'm hot you are is she is she in your top 10 who is um, she on your list yeah. Yeah, she's in there. She's like one or two. Top ten. One, one. She's just so, so freaking cute. Yeah. So this one was great. We loved it. We love Kristen. So good. I'm so excited about the new team that's coming to Louisville and that's to very LA. Exciting. Yeah. And we love Kristen. Did awesome. What did you guys think? Is Kristen your favorite? How sweet is she? When she gives out the jerseys, it literally makes me cry. Like literally makes me cry. I know. So does it. <laughs> Talk to you later. Have questions, comments down below. We'll see you guys Don't later. Subscribe and.